has made progress in its battle to dislodge Islamic State militants from the western city of Ramadi. IS captured the city seven months ago, and retaking it would be a major boost for the government. One police official said much of Ramadi had already been liberated. But Baghdad says it could take days to complete the operation. The Iraqi army advanced on the city from multiple directions and has penetrated into the heart of Ramadi. The offensive to reclaim the Anbar provincial capital from Islamic State has been months in the making. But there has been steady progress since Iraqi counterterrorism units seized river crossings over the Euphrates River. Our anti-terrorism heroes enter the center of the city of Ramadi. They are advancing in the enemy's direction. A number of booby-trapped houses and vehicles were destroyed. Iraq says its own air force and the U.S.-led international coalition are providing air support to the troops on the ground. Baghdad chose to leave pro-government Shia militias out of the operation. In the past, human rights organizations have accused the Iranian-backed groups of abusing Sunni Iraqis. Before the offensive began, the Iraqi military dropped leaflets urging residents to leave Ramadi. But up to 10,000 civilians are still thought to be in the predominantly Sunni city, which has been under IS control since May. Let's get more then from Mohammed A. Saleh, who is in Erbil in Iraq. Uh, welcome to DW. So the Iraqi army uh, says it's taken the centre of the city. How difficult is it going to be for them to gain full control of Ramadi? Some of the Iraqi sources, Iraqi military sources, have uh, predicted that this might take up to 72 hours for them to be able to clear the whole city of Ramadi from ISIS elements. We should not forget that Ramadi is a quite big city with a population of several hundreds of thousands of people. And uh, as in the case of the past battles, uh, ISIS is believed to have booby-trapped a lot of homes and buildings in the city. So clearing the city neighborhood by neighborhood, street by street, is not going to be very easy. But the Iraqi forces are very confident that they are going to achieve it within the next couple of days. Now, interestingly, Iraq says that Shiite militias were not involved in this operation. How important was that in terms of subduing sectarian tensions? It is certainly meant to be a way of addressing the concerns of the local Sunni Arabs in Ramadi and also be a sign uh, or a signal, actually, for the Sunnis in other parts of the country. We should not forget, again, that the Sunnis have expressed uh, great concern at the behavior of the Shia paramilitary forces in the past. And uh, in cases like Tikrit, for example, those forces were accused of human rights abuse, abuse, abuses. So this is definitely meant to be a, a form of reassurance for local Sunni Arabs that uh, they should trust the government and that they should cooperate with the government forces. Now, we're, we're hearing figures that, that IS has lost something like 15% uh, of the territory. It's controlled since the start of the year. Uh, is its presence in Iraq being weakened? It is definitely weakened in Iraq, uh, but uh, the group still maintains the capability to launch uh, very exp extensive and lethal attacks, as we saw last week. So uh, ISIS is definitely weakened in the country, but it also has uh, shown a certain level of resilience and the capability at surprising its enemies and uh, this has been the case over the past couple of uh, the, over the past year and a half uh, whereby they have been able to launch uh, very ex extensive and surprising attacks in different parts of the country and also in Syria as well Mohammed A Sali in a uh, bill thank you now, France has been under a state of emergency since November's terror attacks in Paris. Now, the French cabinet has agreed to enshrine emergency powers into the Constitution. Until now, a single law gave officials the authority to declare a state of emergency. But as part of the Constitution, the French...